O people of Sodom, behold, the Lord comes to save the nations, and the Lord will make the glory of his voice heard in the joy of your heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Oh, yes. Yes. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admitted to his company. He lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God is forever and ever. Amen. I read from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up into a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, Lord let us see your kindness and grant, and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our Lord shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant your salvation. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like one day. The Lord not does not delay his promise as some of our delay, but he is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar, and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and the earth and everything done on it will be found out. 
Since everything is to be dissolved, dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you be? Conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening to the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, too eager to be found without spot or blemish before him, at peace. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The people of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to meet him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey. And this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening. Just one reminder for those members of our parish council, we will meet this Wednesday night after our 6 p.m. Mass. Thank you. On this second week of Advent, we are once again reintroduced to the figure of St. John the Baptizer the last of the Old Testament prophets. We hear of him today as the Gospel of Mark records, lo, a voice of one crying out, prepare the way the Lord make straight his paths. That coincides with your first reading, which came from the book of the prophet Isaiah. It's Isaiah chapter 40. Now, let us tonight take a moment and start with Isaiah 40, and I'll show you where I want to go with this. Isaiah 40. Now, Isaiah is writing to the children of Israel, those who are in exile in Babylon. They are there because of the faults of the generation, and in some cases, two generations before them. When Isaiah first begins his book, he's speaking to the people of Jerusalem before the Babylonian captivity, and he's telling them, repent, repent. Turn back to God. Stop following false gods. Stop doing what you want to do. Stop offering him vapid sacrifices. Return back to him with your whole heart. 
And do the people listen? Obviously, they do not. They assume God's blessing, God's protection. Why? Because they're the children of Israel. God has always protected them. Therefore, he will protect them. It's not dependent upon their behavior. They expect God to fulfill his end of the bargain. Besides, they have in the city of Jerusalem, the temple with God's presence in the Holy of Holies. He's not going to let that fall. Well, guess what happens? Jerusalem falls. The temple is raided and many of the vessels used for the worship of God are brought back to Babylon as victory trophies. Now when Isaiah picks up in 40, he's saying to the young generation now, many of them were born and raised, lived their life in Babylon, hearing of stories of Jerusalem, They've never been there. They've probably even gotten married and raised children in Babylon. It's been approximately, let's say, 60 years since the fall. And Isaiah says, the time is up. The penances that were required for the offenses given to God, they've been filled your generation will now return and he's saying by saying the lord is going to make straight your paths meaning your return to jerusalem the holy city will be one that will not be difficult it will be a blessed movement now for you and I, we might say, well, that's nice, Father, but what does that have to do with us, with our time? Well, let me pose a question. If you refer back to the Old Testament, do you remember the first generation of Jewish people who came out of Egypt? that first generation, what was one of the first things they did right at the foot of the mountain of Horeb, where Moses is on the mountain receiving the Ten Commandments? What are they doing at the base of the mountain? Worshiping the golden calf. And as they journey through the wilderness, what so often do we hear them doing? Complaining, complaining, complaining. And eventually, they, that generation, are punished. They're not allowed to enter the promised land. It's their children who enter. And they had Moses as their guide, their shepherd. And then we return to the people of Jerusalem. Before the fall, they had not just Isaiah, they also had the great Old Testament prophet Jeremiah, both telling the people, turn back to God, repent. They do not. And their children and grandchildren have to bear the burden, the suffering from their sinfulness. Well, how it applies to us is we must ask ourselves, are we the generation that is enduring the suffering from the previous generation? This morning, and it's not in the, the homily, but I think it applies. This morning we're at Bible study and we're talking about your parents and grandparents who came up through the 20s, the 30s, and the 40s. Because everybody now will say, oh my God, it's the end of the world. It's the end times. Look how bad it is. Your parents and grandparents who went through the 20s, 30s, and 40s, they went through World War I, the Great Depression, followed by World War II. Is our time any worse than theirs? 
In many ways, you could say no. In many ways, you could say yes. Let's face it. They might have been poor. They might have had to go out and scratch a living in the soil, raising animals and gardens and chickens and doing whatever they can, hunt and fish to make ends meet, children going to work, loved ones going off to war. They might have endured all of that, but were they bankrupt morally, spiritually, or intellectually? as our current generation is. Our current generation. Where nowadays, look at what we see. We are morally bankrupt. People killing people in the streets for what reasons? Little small peccadillos. Spiritually bankrupt. They went to church, our generations, Christians, not just solely Catholic Christians, we don't go to church. And who am I talking to? I'm talking to you. You are here. The people that need to hear it, they're not in church. We're intellectually bankrupt. Look at our kids in college. Look at what they're... My, they're arguing over how many genders there are. And when you buy a shirt today, if you buy it at the, at the Walmarts or if you buy it on the line, the Amazon, you ever notice you can only buy what? Male and female versions of a shirt. Depending, oh, this is a man shirt, this is a woman shirt. This ain't no Apache helicopter gender shirt. But my God, we're arguing about those things. We are to ask ourselves, and I don't know the answer. I truly don't. But I leave you to wonder along with me. Are we the generation that is suffering from the sins of prior generations? Or are we that generation whose sins will cause the suffering of generations behind us. It does make one wonder because if we are true to anything, humanity is true to form. We repeat history. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us stand for our profession of faith, our creed. I believe in one God, the Father of our life, maker of heaven and earth, and that all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten of the Lord.
that Christ may visit his holy city and keep watch over her always. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That under the protection of Christ, our times may be peaceful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That Christ may banish disease, drive out hunger, and ward off every affliction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer that as witnesses to Christ's love before all, we may abide in the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and for all the prayers that we hold deep in the silence of our hearts, for all of our intentions spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for Mr. Buck Mitchell <laughs> and his family. For whom this Mass will be prayed tonight, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary, the Mother of God, for her help and assistance as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of the human mind, will become for us the bread of life. Bless us, God, Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. And through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the wine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise of the Lord is in him, for our good and good and all of us 
Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design he formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now he dares to hold. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory is without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sitting down in your spirit upon them like the default, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly into his passion, he took bread out and gave thanks to broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was in, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks to give to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me. The forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the Lord and profess his resurrection until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the shape of command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So we may be always free from sin and safe from all stress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Of the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said, Here are apostles. These I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am the Lord, and 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 the Lord,
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is in it. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, be our angel, defend us to battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And be you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his mercy for our heart. Blessed be his mercy for us. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrifice of the Lord. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the character. Blessed be the great mother of God, the very most holy. Blessed be our holy man of conception. Blessed be the Lord of assumption. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord of the Lord.